Okay, and welcome back, everybody, to more Horde of the Dragon Queen. This is uh, week number seven, I think. Uh, our number two, six or seven. I don't I really remember. Which I don't. I've really played that. Uh, it's like what? Week well, seven or five? Ridiculous. Was it five? Week five, maybe. Like, My five or six. six. I think five or six. Five or six. Yeah, we'll stay with that. Well. Okay. It doesn't really matter, let's just jump right into the game. You guys had a fight with a bunch of troglodytes, and uh, now you are in the same room with the smelly, smelly bodies. Wait, troglodytes, were they blind? Aren't troglodytes usually blind? Nope. No? No, in this, in this system they just have a similar okay, my, sensitivity. I guess my might of magic... Uh, 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 you look on troglodytes are you know not applicable here then. Oh, and uh, just one mention before we go into it, we have reached our one hundred dollar mark. Awesome, yeah. on uh, extra life, as amazing. And we let's see if we can do two hundred. So I'll raise the bar a bit, and let's see how much. It's how m every much we can do. All of it goes to the children's hospitals. Uh, I think uh, I into INTO sick. Kids. I think that's what I selected. So, um, everything goes to the children. Let's see if we can gather up more. So, let's continue on with the game. Chuck? Yes. Uh, I saw you are, uh, you are roboting. You are roboting. Yes, very much so. I, I, I rephrase that he's roboting, he's definitely not roboting. <laughs> he's, mo he's motorboating right now. I think I think we lost him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna come back. Um, shortly. So everybody else. What what's happening? What are you guys doing? Uh. uh I guess actually, Justin will probably be curious about the bard. I'm inspect. Uh, I'm gonna inspect the bodies. What's on? What's like, do I recognize these monsters? Not at all. Uh, as I said, um, they are repugnant creatures, seemingly underground, pale, scaly texture, vine, uh, veiny feet, and like um, claws on their free fingers and uh, free toes, long toes. What would can be I like I... a appropriate uh, like uh, skill check to see if they? Can I, can I tell how much time has passed? Like, I'm at full HP because I had a long rest, but do I know how much time has passed? About eight, seven, uh, eight, nine hours, something about that. What right. do you ask? Like, how long do you, was I out for or something like that? Uh, uh, where's the cleric? Did we, did we get her? Not that we know of, no. No, not yet. She hasn't showed her face yet. I think, I think the passage is blocked for now. Did, well... Is the front blocked? How come you know she didn't just run away? No. I don't know. Presume that this is the only way through. And I, I there was no, there, she, there, there she, was she, there she, was no there was no time to uh, uh, look for her. We were all badly wounded, and we had to retreat for the time being. So, and well, you were down. That's so. wait that's... for another campaign. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Ah, we've lost the advantage of surprise. They'll know we're oh. coming now. Who's this guy? <laughs> Hello. Who's who's me? Who's this who's guy? Me? Anyone want to introduce me to your friend? Probably looking at you when he's saying it. That that's <sighs> you know. That's that's Mr. That's uh, I can't uh, even me? pronounce your fucking name. That's that's <laughs> apparently Mr. Handsome over there. You can, you're probably gonna love him a lot. I don't, I don't care. He helped he us. Very, he seems very inspirational. Yeah, mm. he, he's, he, he, he seems to be on our on our side for now. We'll see about that later. I'm just sure a nice storyteller, I suppose. <laughs> <sighs> Where's Artemis? On the floor in the next level. Ata. I I say she. Is she standing guard? 
<clears throat> no, she is no longer with us. She's dead. <laughs> you, you left. Her, you left your comrade's dead body on the floor in the other room. We looted it first. Actually, Simon, she... Simon looted it first. <laughs> we only know. I just say to Justin, we know it for a day, maybe two days. Jeez. And in those two days, she saved your life twice and fought in battle with you a dozen times. That's, you know, I know, I know how you are with your valor. Uh, God damn it, uh, Brutus, it's not just... I, I, I know you're the valorous type, uh, Brutus, but uh, I, it takes far longer for one of such a side to bond with a stranger. It you also know. takes a lot of effort to carry them up a 30 foot. Less than glorious doing so with the dead I corpse. prioritized your safety because I've known you for a long time. And I know what you're capable of. We, for all we know, Artemis could have been, you know, someone to <laughs> infiltrate. I just look at the, the, our new character. I'm <laughs> 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 well. myself. And that's, that's my explanation. I there was no time to for courtesy uh, bur burying either way. We could do if you really want to do that. We can do that. Uh, we can uh, it. When the danger has passed. We don't. <sighs> I don't have time to deal with this right now. Grunting. No, we don't. Where'd the cleric go? Down the pass that I chased her after when you were awake. Well, let's go see if she's still there, shall we? It'll take me hours to unmove the blockage that I put there. Did it take you hours to do to do it yourself? Like, yeah. mm, I mean, you could you could impact. if you want to make it. I can move. I can move. I can move one foot. I can move one foot every fucking. Uh, if you want to make it easy, like take each block, you to take hours. Yes. But you can't try a strike to smash it. No, I didn't move blocks, Chucky. I, I, I bend the earth. I stretch I stretch the earth out. It's a completely natural thing. It's not blocks of stuff. Oh, oh okay. Like so you basically ritually made a, uh, a shield can't you make of it stone. Can't you make yeah, it a stone? Essentially, I said, well, yeah, but I'd have to. It's only like a foot, foot in size, right? So, wait, where is, this, where is this block? Uh, up here. Where is yeah, you, you see I, where, I drew, where I drew it, basically. Okay. Yeah. It's just like a. So owl. there's nothing, nothing preventing them from like walking out through the fungus. How no, big no, is the drop no, no, though? Like, there's, a, there's a drop here though, right? It's a ten foot drop. It's it's climbable uh, without a check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have like well, ten strength. The 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 time. You know. I guess shrug. There's no, there was no safe place anyway. If we, if we'd have dragged you outside, then when they escaped, we would have bumped into them. If we would have gone and hidden near the fungus when they tried to escape, they could have come from both sides and they would have got us. Well, why place. don't, why don't we go see if she got away? Yeah, let's let's investigate it. Also, because we'll, we'll, the, we'll make our the decisions. Thing, the thing that we came for is just in the next room. The dragon eggs are there. We don't, we don't need to confront her anymore. We, we don't know. If they're, if they're not, they can be moved as well. We came here for information about the eggs. We came here for information about the cult. We came here to just kill the cult. We, it's not like we have the one objective. You guys found the eggs, though. That's good information. No one mentioned that. Where are the eggs? In the room next door. The room that's now blocked off? No, no. To the other end. Exit. Yeah, well, yeah, but, but that area is basically contained because now that area is blocked off, so the only exit is the stupid ladder. Right? Uh, we can go... Like the, only one that, the only one that we know of is the ladder, yeah, but we, have, we haven't here. explored the, the next room by all terms. It's dark, it's full of things. Full of a what? creepy te tentacle thing that looks like it could eat, it, eat us alive. Why don't we pull the, the ladder up and check that out later, since that area appears to be cordoned off. If they do connect, then going around and finding the cleric will end up there in the end anyway. There might be another exit to the room, though. 
Well, if there's another exit, then they've already gotten away. Well, we, we don't know for sure un until we, like, go there, so... What could you mean? Okay, so where do you guys go? Do you guys go, um, west around? Uh, and try and figure out what happened to the cleric, or do you go east towards the dragon eggs? I... I think the cleric's more of a priority. They can't move the eggs with no one to move them, and we've killed a fair portion of their labor force when we waved out all those kobolds. But at the same time, the cleric would be a fool to still be here, do you not think? Well, maybe she's a fool. Oops. Well, either way. One can, one can only hope that it goes on both sides. Okay, good. Uh, so you guys go uh, west and try and investigate around. I'm guessing you're investigating around the exit. Well, I'll check the exit. Like, I'll roll a perception check. Uh, a perception just... check wouldn't really do much. Uh, if you want to really run it. Go on. Well, okay, I checked the trapped stairs to see if there's still a ramp. Are the trapped stairs still a ramp? Uh, the trapped stairs is still a ramp, yes. Well... They didn't walk out. Presumably they know how to reset their own trap. Hmm. They could have gone people from the outside, I guess, if there weren't everyone in the cave, I guess. Well, she might just have been running for our life. Is there dirt in in the fungus garden? Uh, yes. I jump down and, and, and look in the dirt to see if there's any tracks that aren't ours. Okay, roll me a uh, session check. You can easily make out tracks of what seems to be a um, a human that is was n not of your party. Because okay. Going which yeah. way? Uh, going, which going way? from east to west. So, from right here, this way. Do the tracks stop here, or do the tracks do not up? stop there? But they continue. They continue on, but they disappear because there is a this flat stone here. So you don't really see tracks and stone. But do we see any well, dirt? Do we see yeah, I hop back up and see if there's dirt from like picked up from the sure shoes. Okay, so you like, look around and you see like specks of dirt made in uh, like half shapes of a foot. So, so she's heading. So, so she's shot, heading, she fucked off. Probably. Heading out. Heading out. And it's yes. it's just one set of footprints. Just one hers? one set of footprints. Okay. It looks so looks the like the cleric, so the cleric got, away. got away. Uh. But it depend. Did she? Wonder if there's more people out waiting outside. Should we just check the outside first to see if she actually? I, I'll actually walk. Like, I'll walk the like ninety feet to outside and like <laughs> poke my head out of the cave, see if there's anything <laughs> yes, good. waiting for us. No, but Go nothing teach. at all besides what you already know. The uh, part we. Uh, the okay. part we like filed up camp. Um, the grass is on the cliffs to either side, nothing much. And the bodies you left there. Well, we can only hope that she left behind something important in her panic to get away. Yeah. Okay. I, doubt there's any, I doubt there's anything else other than like items further on in the cave. Because if there was any forces left to rally, she would have rallied them. Oh, but I'm sure I'm sure maybe, there could be uh, things we don't know. I think we should investigate further. Yeah. Let, let's see it would it. make let's a let's thrilling tale. Like, uh, <laughs> oh god, no, not a storyteller. Moving along. Well, Moving along. along. Well, what if there's more traps, though? That's another concern. I mean, we nearly died at the last one. Can barge check for traps? Well, why don't we stop trying to grab every Everyone treasure chest and start traps for information? I believe I had the idea before the last treasure chest, so I agree. Okay, so. Everyone can um, perceive Gone? Traps. Yes, everybody can search for traps. I'll, but... I'll walk in front this time and roll perception checks for traps, like every like stairwell, um, every intersection. Doorway. Yeah, loop. doorway. Not literally in every room, but like every intersection and every stairwell. So, so we were doing last time. It didn't work, though. <laughs> so. I okay. have light on my shield, so this should start getting revealed at some point. So, uh, how, how, what's the, the distance of your life? Gone. 20 feet of bright light, 20 feet of dim. I can see 20 feet ahead of that. What race are you? Half elf. Okay. 
Okay, um, so if we go on. can look at that set of stairs, if it's only going ten foot high, can we see the button that we knew that we know is now there? And can I press it? Oh, yes, of course. You can try. Does the stair go back up? Then? The stair goes back. Up. Shoots harpoons. Okay, so you guys start moving. Um, let me reveal the area in front of you. So, um, the one in front, um, as always, wisdom perception check. So, Brutus, you see, you notice, um, hmm, you notice around bat droppings, what seem to be any, just random, you, you look up, and you see, like, hundreds of bats up, sleeping on the cave wall. You turn the light off. You seem to not have this term there yet. I... Turn my light off. Turn your light off. I, I look in front of me first, and I count approximately how many steps it's going to be to the uh, the stairs that I can I can see like the walkway, and I turn my light off. And then I walk that what, number uh, of what steps stairs? in. What stairs? Oh, back. Because I because I was right I was right here when you said this, and then I can see the like a a divot and I remember stuff coming down those stairs so I assume they're stairs because I've seen them from the other side no I uh, I said that I you know. were moving that's why I was I I was in the impression that you were, were starting the, the, to oh. these, these stairs there are, 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 are below that yes. are okay. so, so now I'm in so in this room with the three pillars there's bats above yeah, there are bats above yes hundreds of them alright well um, I say didn't the cleric go this way and I go down these stairs no, 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 that's, that's what I'm saying, that they, they yes. are the stairs there. Yeah, the stairs over there are below, there's a tunnel below. It's like, it goes like that. Yeah. It's all one it? continuous oh. passage. So you guys... Okay. I'll oh, lead the way. I just quit. Your shoulders I just your character. Put your hands on my shoulders. We can form so the conga aren't, line. So these aren't connected? No. Or these are connected, but we're it's locking... It's like a tunnel underneath. Oh, it's a tunnel underneath, okay. Yeah, I'm walking underneath them. So you're walking above, above this little tunnel. If we, if we all jump up and down at the same time, we might be able to get to the level below. <laughs> or I could lead you in a conga line through the bat cave. Are these, like, fruit bats? Can I roll, like, a knowledge check? Are these actually dangerous bats? Do I care if uh, they, like... Yes, you can roll a nature check, of course. Well, do you care? <laughs> well, I don't know. If they're dangerous, I care. You have no they're, idea. They're fruit you bats. You don't give two shits about them. I'm pretty sure bats aren't dangerous. I'm pretty sure the last time somebody said something about something not being dangerous, they tried to eat us alive. They're, they're bats. They eat insects. They're helpful. They're, no one they likes were, They were fungus. <laughs> <laughs> Literally in the last room. All right, you guys stay here. I'll walk into the room with the light and see what happens. <laughs> okay. And I move like there with my light on. You move. You just I'm normally. Gonna, you just normally I'm stroll gonna... in with your light in. I'm gonna prepare yes. an action. Okay, so uh, everybody, yeah. So you wanna prepare an action? Oh, what I'm gonna prepare, prepare a, one of my key, my air, my air blast. Okay, <laughs> everybody else. Uh, I wanna sure, prepare. I'll, I'll... Look at what happens, because I don't <laughs> expect you need. To <laughs> and you're Stanny? Sure. I'll, I mean, if shit goes down, I'll, I'll I'll just hold on to a ray of frost for now. If shit goes down. Okay, probably so a, probably won't be very effective, but you know, whatever. You start moving and just you just don't care. It the bats swarm down and start going for the um, exit towards the cave, yeah. making everything and uh, basically everything around you and half um, half covered just because you are there's so many bats in front of you. I'd like all of you behind to give me perception checks. Well, what the fuck can do? I see bats. Okay, I see mini bats. And we roche. You see something weird. Okay, and, and this and these bats, they are bigger ones, bigger bats that seem Big to bats. be that seem to all notice uh, Brutus, and they jump on him. And I yes. like Brutus. You are surprised by this, so they're gonna. Am I? Uh, you can actually you can roll a uh, you can roll a perception check to see if you if you see them if you notice them before through this whole bat no, no. that's not enough. 
Yeah, I still did through back. He, he probably had a harder time seeing them as well. May, may, no, or not maybe. He probably had an easier time, maybe, because they're closer. Yeah, in, 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 in Brutus's mind, he's forgetting bringing that fruit basket from Greenwich with him. <laughs> uh, these bats though are are they're still tiny, but they're like, tiny creatures. But they're weird. They have like big, um, assuming like something they pierce. Uh, it's like a mosquito, okay. like a giant as mosquito. As soon as they like uh, swoop down on Brutus, I sh how many are, how many are there? Uh, you can see about uh ten, ten of them. Ten, the big, ten of the big ones. Ten of the big ones. Yes. Oh, okay, wait. I'll just cast. I guess I'll just cast Ray of Frost before initiative then. Okay, you One cast Ray of Frost. Uh, 18? Uh, 18 is a hit. You freeze Brutus. One for one damage. <laughs> <laughs> it dies. It does not die. Um, but it's still loaded. I... Okay, so. Um, even though I didn't see them, can I take the fact that. No. The mage casters. No, 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 because they, they have a surprise on this ball. Yeah, but so, I prepared my action. Yeah, I know you prepared your action, but... How did not... you get to do this? You got, Everything you got, goes um, at the same time. So you're walking around, all... he is rail frosting, at the same time they're attacking and attaching themselves to Brutus. And let's see if that works. Yeah. Okay, you, so... You, can't, you just can't see them. There's like a shit ton of bears around blocking your vision. Yeah, no, I just wondered if I could take the fact that he, he did something as an obstacle. Uh, yeah, but then you have to point yeah. after he did it. It's, 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 like split, it's like split decision to do this. Exactly, like, exactly. Yeah, so so we know. have you can't a just be like, critical hit on one attacking uh, no, a <laughs> 20. That's for the first two. They're all rolling with advantage against you. Uh, a 23. That's for the third one. A 19 for the fourth one, which misses. 19 misses. Uh, a 17 for the next one, which this one misses as well. So those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's a lot of hits. Okay. They that's, had advanced. Huh? That's 5 of them, yeah. Uh, sixth one misses as well. What was the one in New Heaven that misses? Oh, we have a 22. And the last one, a 24. So four of them attach themselves to you, while six others just like fly in the air around you. Um, they start sucking blood out of your uh, body. Not fruit bats. <laughs> uh, and all, all of those that attack you, uh, meaning four of them, are now attached to your body. Like one's on your foot, one uh, one's on your arm, one's attached to the back of your neck, like. Right? And they're just piercing your um, skin with. They're gonna show me a good time. That's all. Five points of damage uh, from the critical oh, yes. hit. Then seven points of damage from the next hit. So okay. Another four. And six. Wait, how long? How long after? After our last encounter was this? Uh, this is about twenty minutes. Well, oh, even the rest. 20 minutes? Or no, even the rest. No. You guys did the rest after the we had, a brief we had a brief conversation and then like immediately started scouting. Yeah, like, so not even that. Not even that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay so you take, uh, you take 22 points of damage. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, on Brutus. And let us go exactly into initiative. Oh, sorry. Um, if you want to do anything uh, in the meantime, Rirausch, you, are, you have part of the surprise round as well. Oh, okay, then if that's the case, I'm gonna use one of my first level spell slots and I'm gonna give him a nice word and heal him for... Nice um, word, nice. Nice word, a, a, a pleasant word, a word of healing for only six. I'm for sorry. only six. Uh, okay, everybody else, all initiative please. Uh, Henko, you're the last one, I think. Okay, uh, Brutus and Hinko, you guys go at the same time. You can decide upon yourselves which goes first. The uh, Sturges are next, and then we have uh, Rirausch and Rostani. Uh, if you can attack the things that are on you, it's probably best that you go first. If you can't, yeah. then... Oh, I'll, can I attack? I assume I can attack things something that's on me. Just take my hammer and be like, boom! <laughs> Yeah, you can you you can easily uh, take the hammer and attack the ones around you or the ones uh, on you. 
I attacked attack the one on my foot, and I hit it for 11 damage. You hit it for 11 damage, it explodes in a like blood spritz around the uh, blood that they have uh, inside of them, and part of your blood. And one mm -hmm. of them is dead. Only nine it's of okay. them still up. Uh, I'm used to be covering my blood and the blood of my enemies. This is nothing new for me. Good enough, good enough. Next in line after that, Hinko. Uh, oh, you just do the one attack? Yes, he only does one. He, he, he's not a monk. <laughs> oh, no, I always thought you could always... Oh, no, something has to attack for you to do your second attack, yes, doesn't it? Yes, it is the sentinel feat. If somebody else uh, attacks another creature that's five feet from him, uh, that's his ally. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to get as... Can I get close enough to melee range or not? Uh, yes, okay, I think you I can. can yeah. You can yeah, usually you can. get close enough to me out of range. Um, I'm not going to get completely, I'm going to go about 5 feet away. I am going to attack and pop fangs of whatever it's called, the fiery one, that gives me 10 foot reach. Okay, so, so are you attacking the, the ones him. flying? Or the ones... No, I'm attacking the ones that are on him. Okay, good. Do it. 21 is a hit. Does fangs do damage as well? I think it does. Just all the damage, uh, on normally. Fair no, I can I can choose to pop a, a thing if damage okay. needs to be. So, poof, poof, another like uh, explosion of blood, and another one of the surges go down. Yeah, and then I'm going to um, what you call it? That's a hit. Uh, flurry of blows. Uh, another one. Only one left on Brutus. And the seven is a miss. Can I add my inspiration dice that I've still got to that? Oh, yes, I you say. can. You can definitely roll a. You uh, think so? Three, unfortunately, is not enough to hit them. Worth a try. Okay. After that. And then can I can I kind of take a little bit of cover around here? Then? Uh yes. Take park cover there and let us see what happens with the suckers. Okay. They're gonna be suckers soon. <laughs> yes, the the one still on uh, Brutus continues on uh, sucking blood from him automatically. So you lose um, you lose six points of health from that. Okay. So the the amount you healed now goes back in, uh, and the other six surges around three of them. Actually, all of them like kind of turn around and uh, see the other party members and attack them. Uh, we have two. So they move out of my range. Uh, they move out of your range. Yes. Well, they don't. They were not necessarily in your range in the first place. You said they were. You said they were hovering <laughs> around me. Yeah, because I miss, six, I miss six, my OA anyway. So yeah, it matter, six but... of them kind of like surrounded you, and the others couldn't really get in the space, so they were hovering around you, but. I'm, I'm guessing less. like this, uh, like the roof is uh, like the ceiling is, you know. Yes, it's, uh, it's about twenty-five feet tall. Yeah, but they, really? they had to come next yes, to me I to try see. to like bite me. They just missed, so they had to have been next to me at some point. Yeah, I mean you can tr you definitely get them away on them moving away. Uh, but I missed. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see, two of them on each of our party members. Um, we have a on Hinko. We have a eleven and a seventeen. Both misses. Both misses. Let's see about Rostani. Rostani, oh. we have a 19 and a 16. Above hit. Okay, they attached themselves to you. And Wait, if you... they're going to... I get it a taken of opportunity, right? Because they're going right past me? Uh, Yes, yes. You do get an attack of opportunity. You get a reaction. Okay. Son of a bitch. Uh, 13 is... Is it hit? Sorry, no, not hit. Not hit. Not hit. If, I, not if, hit? If, if, if only I had been like a uh, higher initiative, I could have like uh, slept them or something when they were still clutched up on Brutus. Remember that there are still a lot of bats still like moving out, like, flying out of the cave. That's why they have a uh, higher uh, higher AC as well. You can't be covered if um, okay. it's melee, is it? You can be an arc of you. You can be in half cover one, maybe, yes. 
So yeah. even am, I, I, am, I, am I still if you're like, like standing behind a pillar or something and you're trying to hit someone who's behind the pillar? If you if you remember rightly, I've used our cleric as a, as a shield on multiple occasions. <laughs> uh, so let's see about you. You have uh, seven and seven points of damage. So fourteen points of damage taken uh, total by your Stani and the uh, two surges attach themselves to your body, piercing your skin and starting to suck your blood out. Um, and the two attacks on Wiraush. Wiraush, we have a nineteen and a fifteen on you. 19 hits. 19 hits, and one of them attaches this, uh, so to you, and does 7 points of damage. Oh, oh. shit. How, how is casting spells, like, affecting when they're attached to you? Uh, you just Pretty gain sure a disadvantage. Fun. It's the same thing, so you gain a disadvantage on uh, an attack spell, uh, but then again, you can automatically grab it. You know? And automatically yeah. hit it. Yeah, with I your understand. fist or something like that. Yeah, because I'm gonna punch oh, them. Ma obviously. Major speciality. I, I, I am, because I'm, I'm obviously gonna, gonna punch them in the face. For could this, could, could, could you not feasibly just rear frost it from like point blank? You can, yeah, you can. Yeah, with, with a like, disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it hurts, so you like you have to save against like twitching and get away at the last second. Exactly. Well, Ouch! You are next. Makes no sense. I'm never gonna pronounce mm -hmm. your name right, by the way. Just so you know. It's Lelouch, it's isn't it? Yes, it's oh, it no. is Lelouch. It's it a Lelouch. horrible bat. No, I have to hit, hit. Pat <laughs> the bat, pat the bat. I'm going to attack the bat that's on me, I suppose. Okay. Uh, you should, like, steady your, steady your arm think? against the wall. Why are you attacking him, uh, the this creature with? Or even better, just run into the wall. I rape you. Stab him. Okay, yeah, no, you, you, you don't need to roll for that. You automatically hit a creature that is on you, not moving at all. Okay. Okay. You just need to roll one d twenty to see if you completely miss. Oh, no. it's a it's a thirteen. No. So just roll your damage. Die, you motherfucking! Bang. Eight points of damage is enough to take the surge down. So you have and one flying gonna, around gonna, you at all. I'm gonna chuck a another heal onto Rostani. For uh, it's a it's a bonus action. Yeah, but I don't think you actually need nine. Kind of whispers like, "Fucking hell, this is bullshit." Well, full of whispers. You have twenty charisma. Yeah. Yes. He rolled. Yeah, yeah. He rolled very good. I know. I know. I saw his stats. I just didn't think about the racial bonus until just now. <laughs> okay, and um, come on, Rostani, it is thy turn. So I, it's I, fucking I got strong, healed. man. Did I get healed for. Oh, did you heal me for like 8 mm. and 9? No, no, 8, it's 9, only 9. You, nine, only nine. you nine. have okay. 5 damage taken on you. Okay. You had 14, you have 5 now. Yeah. Pretty strong uh, for a range heal. Yeah, it's actually. And good. a bonus action. It's, yeah, it's like, not that good if your modifier is not 5. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, you've been healed for two damage. Woo. Oh, I, I, I did take that into account. <laughs> okay, so Astani, what do you do? Uh, can I? How far can I move with bats on me? Um, I mean, you can easily move as your normal movement. It isn't impeding you at all. How far in between are we? Are we like? Is this just, is this to scale? Like, so I, I, it's absolutely like... to scale. Just count the squares. Two, three. Okay, so we should I would like to. Uh, I would like to position myself right in the middle and just like uh, uh, center myself uh, and cast sleep on every like enemy. Like, if if he runs past me, do I get an attack of opportunity on the bloodsucker that's dead? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, <laughs> no, no. What? Really? No. Come on, man. He's like running past. I'm just like stab. Why not? So <laughs> like, I'm I'm just like uh, trying to concentrate like on a spell. And, like, yes, they like second my eyes go. Sweet. Sweet. Cast uh, the spell. 5d8. How many bats are still around us? Uh, six. No, 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 like other bats. Very average. Uh, is it possible to, like, designate which no, one? Or? No, but it's automatically from the lowest one. But you hear six sturges fall to the ground. Sweeping. Are they, were they all of them? Yes, all of them. 
Okay, uh, I don't know if you ever saw the uh, how much HP a Sturge has, but it's a 1d4. So you sleep okay. over them. Okay. Nice. Alright. Well, right, I kill all the Sturges. <laughs> Squash, squash, squash! Right, like, it's it's like whack a mole, but it's it it's literally like squashing tomatoes, like very big tomatoes with your foot. Yeah, yeah just push my heel over their head and you squish them, basically. Like a mosquito. Yeah, 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 exactly. And uh, seemingly the room is clear. The only thing that's around is a lot of blood, the uh, parts of the like, parts of the bodies of the Sturges, and a lot of rat droppings. Red wow. snakes, are they? Uh, we just we mean bad droppings. We just with your so bad droppings. Why not? Yep. Ten health. That's a spell. It's a spell component, isn't it? Or something. Bad guano. I'm sure. Yeah, but... for fireball, or sleep, or is it like delayed blast fireball? Something. Fireball. Probably worth something. Yeah. You can easily, yeah. you can easily um, fire. Bad guano is one of the most common found ingredients ever. Probably because That's... there's caves that full of shit everywhere. You don't need to carry around individual components as long as you have a components kit anyway. So yeah, yeah. it's like it, it, it's like I unless you need to. I use mean the the the, the, the fun guy was pretty like interesting in a way, but like uh... well, bad shit. Let's fill the pouch full of it. Yeah. Okay, so there seems <laughs> to like, be bad shit. That's like my favorite component ever. Like, uh, you guys know be... how useful bad shit is. Flaming. <laughs> bad shit. Uh... Yeah, there seems to be like five, uh, three ways you can go right now. Uh, there is a corridor going left. Uh, there is a dropping. You can barely see the dropping uh, just in front of you. And there is a stairway going right down deeper into the cave. Can I roll like insight or something to or perception to try and how, how which, damaged is everyone? Which we uh, yeah, we should just rest for now. I'm at ten. I, I, I don't, I don't, I think I don't. we should rest for now. Just in the Here? middle of this shit. We've yeah. already been ambushed once. We've already, already been ambushed once, though. We can, we can have lookout while we're here. Well, okay, let's not rest in the middle of an intersection. Let's go down the right set of stairs. Shit everywhere as well. Okay, so... I, mean, um, I, I roll intelligence to try and work out, to, does Hingo actually know which one of these could be towards the direction where he chased the cleric? Yes. So I'm guessing it's yes. Pretty as hard I said, to... an intelligence check. Yes, anyway, you I'm ran. You ran around. Uh... Okay, you can easily make out that. Uh, like, okay, remember the tunnels. Okay, so I, I remember that when I went down, there was a tunnel going to the right up. So most likely, you think that the left is uh, where the cobbled barracks are, or yeah, or at I... least the stairway. I tell everyone that if the clerics anywhere, she's probably that way. Because I remember it and explain why. Okay, okay. but then again, you you did find the tracks, uh, just south of here of her going outside. Oh yeah, I, I just mean if she if she has been anywhere or had a had a had a you know. I know. Anyway, I know. Just I'm just pointing here. that out. Okay, so uh, which way? So if she ran, if she ran in that direction when she was running away from you, presumably that's where the guard barracks for the kobolds are. Yeah, yeah right? I explained that. Why don't we check what's down these stairs and see if we can find a place that's safe to rest. So, you guys go down? Well, I look at the... I'm, I'm standing in front of the stairs, what do I see? Oh, okay, let me just... There's a stairway going down, and... Uh, give me one second. At the base of these steeply descending steps, a curtain hangs across the passage. It is made from hundreds of heavy leather strips, each about the width of a human hand. The strips are fixed to the ceiling and are long enough to drag on the floor. The curtain extends from the wall to wall. The leather comes from a variety of local animals and is badly curved. The curtain is several rails thick with no gaps. You cannot see through it all. Uh, and just like looking around, you, you, you just move there, you look around, and your foot thumps on what seems to be a, uh, a spear. Just a half rusted spear on the ground. That's weird. I pick up the spear. Does anything happen? Yeah, you Is pick it up the spear. Nothing. Nothing happens. It's yep. You just pick up the spear. Okay. Uh, I roll a perception check for traps, just in case. Yes. Make sure the spear is not trapped. So you did, look. Did your mom tell you not to pick up random stuff on the ground? 
Rusty, you know, now have, have AIDS or anything. Now have Ball Ball AIDS. These days. So you you look specifically around to see where what is this? And oh, and you realize where the spear was for. In the curtains hang meat hooks, like small, uh, very sharp meat hooks that seem to be doused in some kind of oil around them. They're imperceptible if somebody is not looking for them, but now that you look for me, you, you see them, and they're definitely there for somebody who just normally swings his uh, hand to go past the curtain. Oh. Okay. That's well, I pushed into that. For someone who, in the normal circumstances, uh, probably would have just swung the curtain apart. <laughs> I, 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 I pushed push the curtain aside with the spear. You push the curtain aside of the spear, and it is just enough space for a medium humanoid creature to go through. Oh, that's so, not, that's not suspicious at all. Okay. Uh, so do I see anything? It's supposed to be there as a trap kind of thing. Yep. Give me one second to review this as well. Like. You're supposed to put it there and then like it hooks your hand with some oil shin and poisons you or something. So the smell of blood assaults your nose. The floor is covered with dried puddles of it. F uh, foul, uh, interesting here. Four floor to ceiling columns are spared across the chamber and chains have been strung between them mm -hmm. like clothes skin. Animal mm -hmm. carcasses hang on hooks from the chains. You see gutted antelope, oh, deer, goats, and what might be cats, and even a few small bears. Some of this meat has been here for a while, and it smells, th its smell I mean, is a this, reliable this indicator. The smell would, would get us before the sight. I mean, exactly. Smell. Exactly. Probably... But as I said, the, the, the leather curtain was several layers <laughs> thick. So it That's... mainly kept the spell at bay. And you looking around even closer, you can see even human carcasses on the on the columns. Well, this could be useful. There's only one exit, so this is a safe place to rest, even if it is a little no, there macabre. Might be exits. This could be useful. I I I'll walk through the exit. Is there a way somebody I can like wedge the spear to hold the door open or curtain open? Can, uh, use, no, the, but meat. you can keep the spear with you and use it from the other side. Can All you right. just keep the curtain open? Gary? Mm -hmm. You're like thinking like of using like the meat, right, for the drakes? Well, no, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Not a, it's not a curtain of rails. It's a curtain that just hangs. So somebody <laughs> would actively need to keep the spear and you know, keep the keep the curtains from falling down so that you could pass through. Yeah, Can I use a piece of vegetation to just burn it? No, don't, don't burn it. I don't think you can do damage with piece of vegetation anyway. It could be useful. Okay, I'll, I'll just walk through it. I'll poke my rapier yeah. and then I'll just walk through it. But yeah, like, like I was saying, if some of this stuff is rotten, it could be useful if we took all of this food and put it in the room where the acid trap was. And if it stinks really, really badly, it might. This is probably make here to feed that meat monster. Well, even better than we could get the meat monster to come out then. We just laid this distraction, think maybe. Maybe. Um, so if if we look around a bit more, like I've got sixty feet dark vision, so I should be able to see too much. Stuff. That's a really good What's idea, right? Like, if we take one bit of meat and put it outside and see if the monster or the drakes come for it, and if the big monster does come out, then we could get more meat and lead the trail of meat like Hansel and Gretel style. Maybe meat will make it stronger though. It's made well, of meat. Well, as long as it's not our meat, as long as it's not our meat, then I'm not bothered. You could, you like, could do this while invisible, perfect. I guess, if you really want to play it safe. Yes, and the meat would be invisible while you hold it as well. Okay, so really... uh, you guys rest for an hour, I guess. Um, yeah, really um, yeah, can can I see the whole cave? Because I have 60 yes. feet dark. Yes, no, the, you see all of it. I just, uh, the reveal was just bad. So there, is there like any other exits? There are no other exits. This is a, this is the full cave. So I'm just reviewing it all. Where the purple uh, arrow is, is that like another little... Yes, yeah, yes. yes. So it's another like a little drop around down here. Well, I mean, we were kind of close to it. How far can we see from it? Like, uh, it... You see down and see what's this is what seems to be where they threw most of uh, the possessions of the people of the town of Greenest. Like their boots, there's a cloak, like all the useless stuff that seemingly were deemed un unusable or uh, just junk. So it's like ten, is it is it is it ten feet by every like yeah, drop down? Uh yes. Okay. Just Can check. I use um 
Well, can I use prestigitation to um, make it smell a bit nicer in here for like an hour while we rest? I mean, yeah, you can have like a, a, a place where you just use prestigitation, like a 20 feet cube to um, ignore the smell or make the smell not that uh, palpable. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. So and then use... um, I'll sit down and I'll start playing a little tune for everyone. A very nice, like, with a lute, a very, very calming melody. Oh, don't, gar don't bards have, like, a bonus to resting? If you're playing an instrument? I, I don't know. I should be in your... Uh... So they do. If, you, if, yeah. you use, if you use at least one hit dice, you get extra d6 HP. All right. I would have known that. Let me Let me roll those. Nine. Okay, so, so um, plus three. yeah, I'll just take it. I'm at full. It's fine. Good, awesome. Um, everybody, anybody else want to use head dice? Uh, no, no, we do. Uh, yeah. I'll use one. Okay, feel free. Five. I'm back at four. Oh no, I'm nineteen. That's enough for me. Well, that's uh, I'm full. You need to also, use um, oh, you need to use a hit dice to get the extra d6. Oh wait, no, that's plus one, so I get six actually. Okay, so uh, Rosani, you need an additional one d6 for that. You gain an additional one d6 for that. Yeah, I'm at full. Okay, oh, yep. awesome! It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, okay, you guys rest an hour. Nothing disturbs your rest. Gonna recover some spells. I think I could. It was I used two, so I can recover those two, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, is it foreseeable while everybody else is resting, since I don't need to rest? Could I start hauling some of this meat back to the other room that we're in? So uh, just ping. You're gonna haul the meat to the shit room. Through, through. I'm gonna haul the meat through the shit delivery. Okay, good. Back, back to the room that we first started in. Just with, ping me. The okay. Room. Oh yes, yes. You can easily. Uh, I mean, the meat is the carcasses of meat. You can easily take smaller ones, or maybe resting an hour. It's not that big of a cave. Uh, feet wise, so you can yeah. You can drag I, I just five tell or everyone six if, carcasses. If, if, just tell everyone if they hear me roar, then something's coming. Oh, I might not be back. Okay. Uh, after actually, an hour. Actually, in fact, no. I'll go. I do it, and I'll put some of the meat down where Astrani's body is, and while I'm down there, pick it up and bring her body back. Okay, you bring Astrani. Uh, Artemis. <laughs> you bring Artemis' body. I didn't say Astrani. I said Astrani. <laughs> you bring Artemis' <laughs> body back to the party. Uh, you drag all the carcasses of meat over. Uh, no, I I'll, le I'll leave her body on the bed. The, in, on the cloud. Okay. Floor. Okay. Good. You leave her body on the bed. Over on there. With uh, the smelly meat. With the smelly meat as well, or do you leave the smelly meat here? No, I'm going to put some of the smelly meat here, where you, where you just pinged, and the vast majority of it in the room that we were in. Okay, good. You finish your uh, long hour rest. What What is everybody doing? Playing music. Resting. Yeah. Can I roll a performance no. check to see how After the one hour rest. Oh, well, after the one hour rest, we continue exploring the cave. Okay, uh, which way do you go? Uh, I guess Hinko said that the cleric ran off somewhere to the left when she ran away, so we go to the left first. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's see. You see around here, you can easily see this. Uh, Is this just a drop off? Uh, drop like, off. To the right. So the right, it's just like a 10 foot drop off. 60 feet yes. in that direction. Yes, about 20, 20 feet. Uh, yeah, can I'm opening. 60 feet in that direction? What direction? I don't know. Uh, I want to know it's. I want to know it's down there. I pick up a rock, cast light on it, and chuck it. Okay. Yeah, you'll, you'll, I just see found up there. Okay. Uh, so down there, as I said, there was supposed to be the trash hole um, of the items that they looted from Greenest and maybe um, uh, other cities. I mean, you don't know how many. Places they raided, but there seems to be like boots, cloaks, uh, whether tunics, and so on. Under. They might have left something behind. We can easily go through it all at the end, though. 
Does anyone want to go down there and check? No, it might be also more traps. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a giant trash heap. Um, what's over here? I don't think it'd be. Uh, okay, so you go over there and you can see that just down uh, these stairs, obviously the uh, cobalt uh, barracks, and up here you peer down through the darkness and you can see gouge wakes um, in the spit about 30 feet down. Um, the little black dots over here signify black bars, so the drakes are in a somewhat of a cage. From whatever we can figure out, this seems to be where they train them or keep them. They do seem a lot smaller than the ones you fought before. Well, everyone has a range attack, right? Sure do. I pull out my crystal. Awesome. I start checking my javelins at the drakes. I mean, we don't need to do this. Yeah, I mean, you <laughs> you easily just slaughter them uh, after a couple of minutes of chucking stuff at them. Even if they hi hide behind the pillars, it's not complete cover. So, um, yeah, you just slaughter the, the, the small drakes, the baby drakes. All right, move over to here, check the stairs for traps, I'm assuming. Uh, yes, that's, that, that's as far as I've been. Yeah, I and... That's, um, let me just give you the description of, of this room as well. Um, so, thin mattresses of straw co uh, covered with badly curved f furs from small beds that are haphazardly positioned around the chamber. Rats and small wizards scurry through the food scraps and moldy wine skins littering the floor. Okay. Well... It looks like she, if there was anything left, she took it with her. Let's go check on the eggs. What was that top, what was the purpose of that top room? Was it just another room? No, uh, what top room? Like the it's room now. Oh, that's the, like a nursery. It's just a, it's just a pit, pitting zoo. Yeah, it's it was a, a uh, nursery for the uh, guard wigs. I can, I can leave their dead bodies here. Yeah. A nursery? Uh, I mean, a cage, you know, so you someplace they yeah. keep them or they train them. It's actually like a daycare, you know, like dragon, like there. <laughs> like you can a... take it while you go off and pillage the local town. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I assumed it was nursery because he said they were smaller and didn't look as well trained. So. Exactly. Okay, so you guys, uh, uh, you guys go back uh, where you have the meat. So was there nothing in that room? Just if things have one. Uh, the 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 room where the couple barracks were. Yeah. No, 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 where the, the drakes were. Nothing at all. It doesn't seem so, at least, as you walk from above. Yeah, I just killed them in case they, like, learned how to climb or got loose or something. I don't know, I understand that, but it's just like, if this is where they train them, is there not anything to train them with? Or maybe to use the meat to train them and shit like that, yeah, that would make sense. Maybe what the hunters are for. Maybe we could have had pet drakes. Oh, too late now. We have pet dragons by Still the end of this But I doubt it. Okay, so um, you guys go back, and well, you reach this place over on here. So just uh, move back to where the uh, dragon eggs were. There? Yeah, but you reach there. One second. Uh, feel free to switch the order you're moving, and you see. Both not uh, like don't, don't move there. Don't move there. Stay did there. anybody say, did we did we fully search the cobalt barracks as well? Uh, well I'm, no. I'm in front. Yes, I'm in front. Don't move in front. Okay. So you see you see this shambling creature just like munching on all the all the dead carcasses on the ground. It's it's sorry. I I don't hear you. We can't have run this way. I blocked it. Yes. No, we went we no, went all the way around. We went all the way around. Yeah, you went all the way yeah. around. This yeah. place over here is blocked, so you went all that's the way around. That's why we're coming from this area. Yeah, Not that's why we're coming from that area. What? Well, like I said though, before we left, though, did anybody search the cobalt barracks? Yeah. Or anything? It was you you it was, looked around there, it. There never, were, nobody searched. There were like, there were beds and bed sheets and you you, you explained it. There were beds, crooked sheets and. I know, I know. I'm just saying you just looked around. Nobody searched it. 
I asked if there was anything there. there. It's, there's a very big difference from asking if anything's there or searching around no, for something that you don't like, see. It's the, type of place, it's the type of place where you'd keep weapons and armament and stuff like that. Yeah, I asked so if there was anything there. Was elsewhere. I, I, I would have searched it if, if nobody searched it, that's what I'm trying to say. There was a there was armory or barracks elsewhere. Yeah, a human one. Yeah, the human barracks. This is the cobalt barracks. No, I asked Jackie if there was anything there. He said that I mean, he yeah, gave but, me the... And, the and I know, but like you said, there's a difference between having a look and searching. Right. That's, that's what I was Check trying to ask. Was, was there something in there that I had to like roll a perception check to find? Nope. But well, you can, can I? You can, you can always search check. Before we got moved. Not to search no, check. Sorry. Uh, a um... perception, isn't it? Or perception. Is it? Yes. No perception. No, invest no investigation. Yeah. Something else. Uh, so, uh, Brutus and Hinko, you look around uh, the. Straw beds before we get to this point. This is basically red conning at the uh, for the back, and you find I hey, my character, not me. I was asking a question. Uh, you find 38 golden pieces, 152 oh. silver pieces, and 740 coop, uh, copper pieces. Cooper, Cooper pieces, copper. You find Alice, Co Alice okay. Coopers. Maybe you say that again, and we can spread it afterwards. So 30, uh, 38 GP. Yeah. 152 SP and yeah. 704 CP and, and about 50 PP. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> Where are all those EPs, man? There's no no EPs. EP anywhere. No Erectrum. No Erectrum. <laughs> okay, so okay. now going back to this, the shambling now the like just I I don't know how to explain how to um. Massive this lob creature. of uh, rottening meat, just rotting uh, meat with consuming uh, other pieces of rotting exactly. meat. Exactly, consuming the uh, carcasses on the ground, greedery. There does, is does a. It, it, a does it have an actual mouth, or is it, or is it just like? It does have. It does have a no actual like... mouth, and there seems to be a uh, a big eye on it as well, and a like a big mouth with uh, with sharp teeth. I'm gonna grab the bard and say, see if it speaks. You seem pretty good at speaking. If not, I'll punch it. Hmm? You want me to talk to him? You seem good at speaking. I'm good at punching. He's good at getting hit and hitting with the hammer. She's good at casting spells. Okay. I'm gonna come out from behind the pillar that I'm standing behind. Like, <laughs> Beat <laughs> monster! <laughs> Reveal your spent. true intentions! Okay. Anything? Uh, he like it looks at you and like grabs another uh carcass of a chicken off the ground and it puts it in its mouth. And uh, let's see. How much meat is there left? Um, I mean, he just took like one hour. Like, started moving like, on one hour of it, so maybe like ten, fifteen percent of the meat there. There was a. A large amount of meat there. I just say he might be indifferent. Just maybe we can sneak past him. Well, he might just uh, be I don't think as well, which is why I put more meat behind us. And then why, why don't we in the other place? Kill the grotesque horror. Yeah, I like that idea. Because it looks fucking dangerous. That's why. It looks at you and continues on munching on the meat. It seems hungry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carefully approach it and just look at it and just see and just say uh, once more meat and I'll repeat it in Draconic if necessary. You what you repeat? I'll ask it if it wants meat. And uh, I'm not get too, so like, how as you get as you get up? close to it, it's it's uh, tendrils go near you and as you say there's more meat, they stop. I got see look. Oh, did it when I spoke in Draconic? Oh, common. No, no, common. You go see the. It's just. It's a. It's a beast. It's... The tendrils are still kind of five feet beast away from your face, moving around in the air. Beast wouldn't be able to understand. A dog can. A dog can understand, but it can't reply. Well. The uh, tendrils move closer to you, as if impatient. Well, it's more of a, it's, it's more of a to tone. To if, if if it if it can't smell, there's more meat up the way that we came. And to, can it can it climb a ladder? 
It just starts moving. Uh, wait, 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 did you put me, like, meat like in this? Like this? No, no, he something? moved, like, no, exactly here. No, he didn't do a, uh, a hand and Gretel I put, thing. I put meat there, and I put meat in this room here, and then the rest of the meat's over there. Yeah. In the room. So the shambling, this, this shambling man that starts moving past you uh, uh, very, uh, very, very hard. I, I, I'm just saying, but if yeah. he's moving over there... I mean, he left yeah. Artemis' body up there. I mean, you're talking, but this creature is moving. This creature has moved about 20 uh, feet on its way. Uh, are, you, are you telling it to go eat Artemis' body? I'm gonna move over here. No, I, left, I left rotten meat up there. You would have seen when we walked past. I left rotten meat up there, I left rotten meat down here, and then there's more rotten meat in the pen. So actually, Artemis' body is on the bed. Yeah. The bed is here. But yeah, but you, okay. you mentioned that. No, the bed is there. That's where the bed is. I, I may or may not have seen Art Artemis' body then. You were sleeping right next to the dead body, just so you know. No, the dead body was down here at the start of this. No, it was down. It was down here at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he was doing this while we were taking our break. Or exactly. Our, you know. <laughs> the creature continues on moving, and um, it seems to like go uh, um, with Brutus in its way. It seems to like its tendrils go near him. I move out of the way. I move out of the way, and the creature starts moving. If we have it's to kill that on the way out, I'm not going to be happy. And kind of, it kind of it kind of blocks in the way the the passage, but then starts moving up, 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 up. I, I just I just whisper to the party. If, Wouldn't if it break the ladder? I. It's, I it's, it's seemingly it's not using the ladder. Seemingly it's just like, like it has to move, move over the area of the ladder. I'm pretty sure it would break the ladder. You know, if it climbs up the walls with like its tendrils on each side, so I don't know. I don't maybe think it can do maybe that. Maybe it's got a sticky bottom. I say I say to the party before if if me is a question. Like, I can... Uh, if it relies on sight, I could probably fool it. If we have some... Uh, thing, I could possibly, like, conjure up. It, it doesn't seem very smart, though. Well, so I, could pro I can probably... Good with pre-digitation. Uh, pre oh my god. That spell that changes yes, the flavor digital. and smell of things. Now that we know that, like, yeah. we could see so, we could think anything as rotten yes, meat. Yes, I... If we it's, combine, it's I can do, like, flavor. heaps of, I can do, like, an illusion of heaps of meat that we can slink by. Like, yeah, uh, to distract no, it. Say, smell Brutus. of meat. Uh, you look around and, oh, well, there's something weird here. There is, you can see in the back over on here, what seem to be like corpses of, uh, of frying kobolds, uh, just half, like, half torn apart. One of them with its head missing, uh, one of them with its wings missing, all of them dead on the ground. They weren't here before, were they? They were there before. <laughs> the creature killed them. No, they, were, they were all over <laughs> here. The black bars here are utterly smashed to pieces. They are thrown away in each direction. And the guardian, the guardrails down are dead as well. They look to have been like, taken and broken in half like twigs. Are the dragons oh, so they, okay? They, so they used like the, the the fleshy abomination for like yeah, some kind of extra and then when they didn't get its meat, what? It, you know, it just took whatever it was uh, yeah. around it. What kind of condition are the eggs in? Uh, the eggs are in like, pretty good. You see only two eggs over on in the back over on here. Uh, oh, okay. They are okay. I mean, they're not harmed at all. Um, give me one second. I, I just look at the eggs. They are man. about three feet tall, and they look pretty damn heavy. Okay. I just look what at the eggs, man. There's gonna be some big scrambled eggs, man. Big omelets. Is there anything over here? Uh, no, no, sorry. That's, that's just a decontamination of this. Okay. Can I, I, like, I just look at so the like like tango and see down here too? So Isn't we just smash the right? eggs and no more drakes, right? We just need to smash oh. the eggs, and get the hell out of here. I don't think smashing them is a good idea. Yeah, we can sell them for a whole dollar either. I... How, how, so how, uh, how heavy are they if we try to lift them up? Uh, you can see about like 150 pounds. Oh, that's fucking heavy. That's... Three feet egg. Three feet egg. So it's like... Half you. I'm pretty sure you said I could probably pick it up. Well, actually, I probably could pick up 150, but not be able to move. I mean, potentially. Well, uh, 
Uh, if anybody, we can carry can one all, of these. You can roll an intelligence check if you're interested in knowing more about the dragon eggs. I guess it's arcana, right? No, uh, just intelligence. Really? Yes. Um, so we Roush, you know that these are the eggs of a black dragon, and they are close to hatching. Are like, are close like in the idea of days. Do you share this information with the party? I say, yeah, there are those evil black dragon guys. You know those guys? Yeah, they apparently, you know, did a little bit of that um, making love. Thing and they made these two eggs, and they look to be pretty close to hatching. Well, I, I say, like, I mean, smashing them now would probably just incur, like, an earlier birth, which, like, would uh, just re release the, the hatching. But then we can take them one after the other, and it's only a baby. But it's, a, baby, well, a baby dragon is still pretty. I think a baby dragon is still, like. Uh, um, you know what, guys? Before we continue this on, we are at our two hour break. So. Let's take a small break, and we'll come back with more Horde of the Dragon Queen in uh, 3-5 minutes. So see you guys soon. Right.